Yes, I would say that uh, the, the cooperation between the three regional economic communities, particularly through the secretariats, is probably the result of what we are witnessing now in terms of the tripartite FTA. Uh, because of the overlapping membership of these regional RECs, uh, secretariat since 2001 have been engaged in debates and discussions on how to rationalize their programs because of this overlapping problem we had. And uh, they have interacted uh, for the last five years and it, it, this has produced uh, some positive results that these member states now constituting the RECs are now in a process really of rationalizing particularly their trade regimes, their uh, interventions on infrastructure and now even uh, a decision to cooperate on industrial development. So for me that is evidence that there has been any, there is still a very good quality communication uh, and interaction among the three RECs. If we look at the past years or, or lessons to be learned from uh, previous attempts to really integrate uh, in terms of uh, policy integration where you have to surrender a uh, national kind of policy space to a supranational uh, institutional framework, the Africa has not been very successful in that endeavor. Uh, member states are at different levels of development. Uh, some are very low income economies, some are middle income economies. Countries like South Africa, people are even saying they are emerging economies now. So it is very difficult to have a policy integration which amidst economic imbalances. That is one issue. Uh, the other issue is uh, giving up uh, national policy space is only effective when countries respect a rules-based uh, system of governance. Uh, and we have seen uh, in all the three RECs uh, attempts to institute rules-based uh, systems of implementation of agreed commitments, whether in terms of tribunals, whether in terms of dispute settlements, have always been difficult. So the challenge for African integration is actually basically that, whether the approach which is being propagated uh, of a linear integration model, where you sequentially continue to surrender uh, your national policy space in terms of policy decisions, to a supranational uh, institutions, it's, going to, it's a difficult challenge. And that's the reason why you find that uh, uh, RECs like SADAC, like COMESA, they have dreamed of becoming customs union. And simply because a customs union means having a common external tariff, having a common view on how you integrate into the world economy, it has proved very difficult because each country wants to have uh, uh, flexibility on how to relate to the rest of the world in terms of its trade policy.